Hi, this is Andrew with Bells of Steel, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble the residential dumbbell rack. The big question before we get started is, do you guys like rubber dumbbells or cast dumbbells or commercial dumbbells? But let me know, comment below. So this one's pretty basic. You're only gonna need one tool, 17 millimeter, box end and then the same wrench that it matches so 17 millimeter ratchet wrench i'm going to use a uh, impact all right so give yourself about nine to 12 minutes to put this together it's pretty simple and i hope this video helps it does come with assembly instructions but the first step is to put the feet on so the part that is not grooved and is at the angle goes on the bottom and you're just going to put one on each foot All right, so now I'm gonna turn these up and you're gonna wanna face the support piece on the inside. So facing me, it's the right side, facing out, this would be the left side, but the support piece needs to be on the inside. So I'm gonna work away from me and put this on the left and this on the right, both facing in. All right, let's talk about supports here. So there's a bolt hole and the only way you can mess this up is if the 90 is on the outside. The 90 degree needs to be going towards the inside so they're closest together. If it's on the outside, it will not hold your dumbbell correctly. All right, so I'm gonna grab my 90 and my first bolt. I'm gonna stick it in the hole. So through the 90 support, once again, the 90 goes to the inside and then I can rest it on my second piece while I grab my second bolt. So bolt and washer. I want the threads going down just for aesthetics. Line it up, stick it through, and then you can go ahead and put the washer and the nut on the bottom. So since there's a lot of working parts and there's three tiers, I'm gonna leave it all loose until we get to the end because otherwise it's gonna be really tough to get these to line up. So go ahead and leave everything nice and loose and just repeat this step for all three tiers, both sides, make sure the 90s go in. I'm on my back side, 90 goes in. All right, so I got it all put together. Now I'm just gonna tighten down. No need to over tight these. They've got uh, locking nuts on them. So get them nice and snug, but nothing over the top. And I'm gonna go kind of side to side instead of doing one side. That way it's not all cattywampus. So this was how to assemble the residential dumbbell rack by Bells of Steel. I hope this video helped along with the assembly instructions. If you guys like this video, make sure you click that button below, comment anything you want, and uh, follow us on all social media. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.